Hi guys, welcome back. Now we are going to discuss about input and output parameters. What is basically this input and output parameters? Okay, so when you want to pass some values, local value, local values, okay, for a particular task, then you can go for input parameters. Okay, so for example, this is the input. This is one of the send task, right? So this is called a send task, right? In this send task, actually, okay, maybe let me change this value so that it will be very understandable for us, right? This is basically a send task, right? One of the tasks, send task, okay. So in this send task, if you want to pass some local variable, whenever the execution is coming into this place, if you want to pass some local variables, okay, then you can go for a input, okay. At the same time. When you want to, once this task is completing, okay. When you want to produce some output, and if you want to uh, assign the values for the whole process, okay. So if you want to assign some variables which is available for the whole process, then you can go for output, output parameter, okay. Let me open here. Actually, you can see it very clearly. See here, I already assigned one variable. Okay, don't worry about it. Now, once I open the input parameter, right? You can see that. Okay, so let me open one more new one. See, once I open the input parameter, right? You can see that the variable name itself. They are saying that this is a local variable. So it means that this is applicable only for this particular send task. Okay, whatever values I can assign, and it can I can access that that value from this task actually. Okay. So this is about input task actually. Okay, so let me delete this basically. Okay, so what about output parameter? Okay, let me create a output parameter and I will show you. Here you can see that is a process variable. So you know about process, right? Process is the whole task. Whenever execution has been completing all these tasks. This all stuffs we will call it as a single process, right? So this all belongs to a single process. So if you want to assign a value or variable for the whole process, then you can go for this process variable. Okay, so you can do using couple of stuffs like string or expression or script, whatever maybe. So based on that, it will uh, open pop up the text box. See, for example, val variable assigning value, string or expression. That's fine. If you are giving list, then it can it will ask you to add the values. It, it, if it is a map, then add entry. It is like a key value pair. You can do that. So all the stuffs you can config based on this variable assignment type. Okay. So as of now, I'm just configured the normal string. Okay. What basically I done is that. Okay. So I'm creating a local variable called local gender. Okay. So just a string or expression. I'm just keeping that. Okay. And the variable value I'm assigning is a male local. Okay, this is what I assigned as a value. Okay, so then coming to output parameter, then I just assign a variable name as global gender. Okay, and the variable assignment type string and uh, expression, and the variable value I'm just giving is a male global. Okay, so two variables, one is for local variable and one is for global variable. Okay, so again. When this task, right? So let's see this. So here in this task, we are using this send task class, right? In this send task, I can able to access which variable? Local variable, right? So as an input, I need to access it out actually. Okay. So when this process, when the execution enter into in this place, in this task actually, okay, it will accept all the input value values. And it you can process it out. Okay, once it is coming, it is completing. Then output variables will get produced, and it will be available for all other stuffs. So okay, so it will available for the whole process. Okay, let's show you the sample. Let me go to project and let me open the class file. Okay, so task and send task, right? So in this send task, right? I'm I can able to access the local gender. Okay, I'm just keeping the value, and even I can execution is the one 
using that i am just getting that variable and i i can print it out okay but when when it was there like a output parameter right so what is that output global gender global gender what, what where we can access it, we can access anywhere right so this is another service class okay so here again i have the implementation let's see that what is the implementation i added okay final check is a class there i am going to access that the global uh, variable okay let's see that the final check okay so this is the price see here i am trying to access the global gender so when we are accessing this it has to print the exact values right let's check okay let's uh, try to run the application and let's check that hope you are understanding the concept right behind that so input is nothing but when you want to assign some local variable for the particular ta task you can go for the input the output is when you want to assign a variable for the global global process okay the, it means the uh, whole process then you go you can go for the output okay that is what basically okay so my tomcat is started okay let me open my chrome okay let me hit the url let me log in with that my credentials i can able to log in then if i go to task list right so start process so our says task planning right let me clear this log before that so that it will be comfortable for you to understand that let me start the process see now where this process let's see that so it was the diagram it was showing in the user task right so it is not it came to this place okay let's see that okay so so that the global gender sorry the local gender was that printed to this not came the local variable values not came right so let me clear the log and let me what i'll do i will claim this task and let me complete it let me give some value 25 and let me complete it okay there is some issue field definition using an existing field qa url on class field is null okay so this is different issue okay not belongs to us actually so the final check is the class right so what i can do field definition uses Field is null. Okay. Final check is having this variable. Okay. Let me remove this. Okay. Don't worry about this. Let me save the diagram again. I mean, I, let me deploy it again. Okay. So let me go and hit the localhost 8080. Okay, let me go to task list. Let me start a process. Let me create a new task. Okay, so starting the task. So a few seconds ago. Okay, let me see the diagram. Okay, it is updated. Okay, so now let me go to form and claim it and let me give it some 25. Okay, let me complete this task. So once I complete, right? Okay, so now you can go and see the log. See, my local variable value is my local and the global gender is male global so we try to print these two values right so this is from the send task and this is from the final check class correct so so this is the way we can even assign the values locally or globally okay so using our input and output parameters okay hope you understood right okay thanks for watching